Let me help you boys out right now. Head over to EasyMutt.com, type in DP10 for 5% off, and you're going to get the cheapest coins on the market guaranteed, I promise you. Hey, what's up, guys? How are you guys doing? How is your Thanksgiving? Hope you boys got real nice and stuffed. I know who really loves Turkey Day or Thanksgiving Day, and that is the linemen because they're already big. They need to get nice and fat for the games on Sunday, and they feel amazing. But today's video is going to be on chemistries to use in Madden 21, the best chemistries to use. A lot of you guys have been asking me in the comment section, this is honestly for whatever. Theme teams, this works for theme teams. This works for regular teams. This works for nobody spent teams. This works for everybody. It doesn't matter what team you have, what you do, this works for everybody. Everyone. So I'm honestly going to go into each one, let you know what it means, what it gives you, what boosts, all that, ETC, and then I'll show you guys the best one. Now you don't have to listen to me, you can pick another one if you'd like, but I think these are the best chemistries to run. Now before we really jump into it, make sure you guys hit that like button down below, hit that subscribe button if you are new to this channel, and hit that comment section and let me know what else you'd like to see on the channel, how your day was going, or honestly whatever. You guys know if you do all three, it helps me out tremendously and I can't thank you enough. Now roll the intro and let's get into this video. First, I need my name up in the rafters. Got the taste of winning, I ain't never going backwards. Everything I do, I do it major like the masters. This is for that girl that made me feel like I was average. Alright, so for all my squads, my Steelers theme team, my normal team, and honestly my next theme team, I all use the same chemistry, so let's get into it. So on the defensive side of things, I use Lockdown, complete 50 out of 50. There's other stuff like balance defense, run stuff, and pass rush, but I rock with Lockdown, and I probably will until the end of the year. Now the reason why I use it is because look at those boosts right there. Plus 4 catching, plus 5 zone coverage, plus 4 press, plus 4 tackling, plus 4 play rec, plus 5 man, plus 2 awareness, and plus to stamina, I'm guessing, I don't know. Another reason why I use lockdowns because a lot of more people pass this year. So I figured if I have a lot of man coverage, zone coverage, and I meet those thresholds, that I should be good with coverage. Now how you build your team is honestly on these chemistries. If you like pass rushing more, go with pass rush, because it gives you plus one power move, finesse move, it just it basically is like the man in zone coverage, but with power move and finesse move. Now I'd stay away from run stuff, and I'd stay away from balanced defense, I'd only use balanced defense for a budget, because it is cheaper than the other ones. Now take for example my Mike Hilton, he's a 94 overall in the squad, but without any chemistries, any boosts, he is a 90 overall. Now to me that's absolutely insane that I can get a plus 4 overall boost just from chemistries. And obviously if you're running a theme team like me, Pittsburgh Steelers 51 out of 50, make sure you max that out as much as possible. And if you're rocking a main team with like a bunch of good players on your squad, you can even take like your backups here like middle linebacker 3 and middle linebacker 4 and plug in just like that team's middle linebacker right there. Or like same with outside linebackers. If you have spots open on your team to fill, fill it with a player that's on that certain team to get the chemistry boost. Now for my offensive chemistry, I use go deep 40 out of 45. I don't have it maxed yet. So right now I'm only at tier 8, and as you take a look, I get plus 4 throw power, plus 4 pass blocking, plus 4 BPR, plus 4 deep route running, plus 3 catching, plus 3 spec catch, plus 4 deep accuracy, and plus 3 throw under pressure, and plus 3 break sack. It is really hard to try to say all those and not mess up. But running deep is very big for me this year. I love taking those deep shots to Chase Claypool, Lynn Swan, any of the fast guys. I love taking deep shots, so that deep route running and the deep accuracy is very helpful. Now if you're passing, I would say definitely go with Go Deep or West Coast if you're kind of like a short to medium guy. Now if you're trying to pass the ball guys, go with Go Deep 100%, but if you're just a guy that kind of runs the ball more, go with either Zone Run or Power Run. Personally, I think Zone Run is better because it gives your running back a lot of stuff to work with, and it gives you a tremendous amount of blocking stats, and Power Run is more for like the blocking, the trucking, the stiff arming, and this is just more like all around. Honestly, you go with either one, but personally, I'd go with Zone Run if I was a runner. And then obviously like I said balanced though because it is cheaper. That's if you just want to go with that option anyway. I, I wouldn't recommend it but if you need a budget just rock with that I guess. Now with Sprinter and stuff like that I'm gonna give you a little hint. Number one you don't need powered up guys to put these on actually. If you knew that or not I'm just letting you know you don't need guys powered up to go ahead and get the Sprinter chems and all those chems on them like these ones. But anyway I use Sprinter and Brawler for these two chemistries. Brawler I use them for all my offensive linemen. 
So I put it on every single offensive lineman I can. I actually put it on Heath Miller as well. If I had a fullback, I'd put it on him too. And then for the defensive side of things, it's all the linebackers and the linemen, except middle linebacker actually. Middle linebacker, going with sprinter because I want them to be more faster. But the defensive line, I want them to have more strength, so I go with brawler. So your skilled position guys, they get sprinter, and your big men, they get brawler. This is what it does. You get plus two speed, you get minus two agility, minus two strength, minus two change of direction, plus two acceleration, and plus one jumping. It's basically just for the speed. Now for brawler, it's different because you get strength and speed, and that's key for them big men. I'm not completely done maxing them out either, but as you can tell, I got 3 million coins, so I got a lot of work to do before this team's even done with. Now, another little secret, if you go to team strategy, I don't believe you can upgrade these yet, no. And you can't upgrade the stadium yet, no. You can only upgrade your coach right now, but you can go ahead and add more of these chemistries on here. I didn't know if you guys knew this or not, but hey, you could throw on 10 extra chemistries, 5 for offense, 5 for defense. Now, to be honest or not, I don't know if they're adding the upgrade system to the uniforms yet or honestly what they're doing here. But if they're just doing the head coach, I mean, that's chill, I guess. But last year, we could do a lot with these uniforms and help so much. It wasn't locked down in the offense and defense chemistry. It was like... You know, it was like your Steeler player. If you had a Steeler player, there was a certain Steeler chemistry. I don't know, it was kind of weird, but I kind of did like it. It helped out the squad a lot. I wish that was still in the game. Another thing as well, your punter and kicker chemistry does count on your squad. I just want to let you know, I didn't pay attention to that at first either. I was like, whoa, wait, my kicker and punter count towards this? Make sure you guys pick up your team's punter and kicker because it does help towards your team chemistry. So for example, earlier I said something about like filling your team up with like go deep. Look here, if I had two really good centers or right guards, I could plug them into here. Maybe it's plus three for each guy. I could have six on go deep and I'd have 45 out of 45. I just got to mess around with it a little bit make sure i got everyone with chemistries and try to get the max go deep it's kind of hard too when you know you don't have as many overalls as over on the defensive side with the steelers theme team but hey it happens and i hope this really helps you guys uh this is just my opinion on the best chemistries to use in madden 21 i hope you guys enjoyed it and liked it like i said for the defensive chemistry on lockdown if you want to stick to stopping the run more i wouldn't suggest that i'd suggest sticking to lockdown for now but if you wanted to switch to run stopper or pass rush you could do that and for the offensive side like i said if you're more of a runner than a passer go with zone run or power run and you will be golden i think last year i did run power run i'm not gonna lie and then i ran like steelers offensive passing with the uniform kens and all that but yeah go deep's definitely the move if you are passing the ball though and like I said, sprinter and brawler, spinners for the agile guys, brawlers for the linebackers, the linemen, and also I just wanted to say this, if your linemen, or not your linemen, your linebackers are coverage linebackers, put sprinter on them, because I know 4-3 defenses, your outside linebackers are coverage linebackers, so make sure you guys could put sprinter on them instead of brawler. Now, I love helping you boys out, so can you help me out real quick? Make sure you guys hit that like button down below. Hit that subscribe button if you are new to this channel, and hit that comment section. Let me know what else you'd like to see on the channel, what you thought of the video, or honestly, whatever. You boys know if you do all three, it will help out the channel tremendously, and I can't thank you enough. I will catch you later. Stay safe. Peace and love, baby, and I'm out.